Hi everyone, I have a frequently requested updated what's in my pin case video for you. I was kind of holding off until we could get the Milu handwoven pin cases stocked on our shop because the pin case I've been using most often lately is my handwoven one. So I kind of didn't want to show it until we had them up on the store. So this is the one I use mostly for school and I can kind of explain why that is. Both, so I almost always will have like a larger Estia in my, in my bag, in my backpack, along with the like regular normal person pin case size. <laughs> the Estia for me ends up being a combination accessory bag that has like pens mixed in there and this one ends up being a little bit more exclusive to like school supplies. So why don't I just go through like the Estia first? Uh, so the like toiletry style stuff, I, I don't think I'll say much about it unless I have something in here that I feel like is like super worth mentioning for some reason or another. So basically, I think what nobody like tells you you have to learn for yourself is once you have a kid there are going to be these days you get to work and you weren't able to like completely get yourself ready for work. This is worth mentioning. This is awesome. Not that I want to mention my like underarms in a video again, but if you've weaned yourself off that like aluminum antiperspirant, if you have like sensitive skin, so you want something that's alcohol free and doesn't have that nasty baking soda stuff that a lot of people are allergic to. Anyway, this is really good. I highly recommend it. Too bad I don't have a referral link. Just kidding. Yeah, I really like this. Okay. That's enough about that. Oh, it actually has, so pretty much anything that says it has orange blossom or neroli oil in it, I will buy because I love the scent so much. So that, that's something to mention about this product is that it actually does have that in it. Okay, anyway, so these are just like toiletry things that I feel like this stuff's awesome because I have like a injury in my arm right now. And it has uh, this black pepper in it, which kind of um, tricks your mind into just noticing that and not noticing the like pain in your arm. <laughs> so I'm liking that lately. This is just, I have a weakness for cute little pouches. So this is just like a cute little pouch. Yeah, so we can get into the pen part. But basically you can see like, like, I feel like all Milu bags that I've ever bought, it's like a Mary Poppins thing going on. So like you, like to, like I took out all this, right? And I still have like tons of room left over for daily pen stuff. Oh, see, I even have like Advil. That's also for my arm. Oh, and I have this thing, which is giant, and actually it's probably dangerous to have in my bag, but this is for my hands, because since my hands are like, I have to see them in HD all the time, and I see all these like freckles on my hands, this is supposed to hide that one. Okay, anyway, it makes me super self-conscious about my hands. Okay, so, yeah... Why don't I swatch stuff because I know you hate it when I don't swatch. So I guess I'll get these out of the way because they're probably almost totally sold out again. But these were colors I chose to keep out of the Sudati Pink and Blue series. This one is the Cobalt Blue, which I thought was amazing. And this was the Magenta Pink which looks just like the color of lipstick I like wearing in the summer, so I couldn't, I couldn't not get this one. Um, but this is just regular Sudati ink in 0.5 and 0.7. And then show you the difference.
Okay. Actually, let me zoom in a little so that the swatches are better here. Okay, so another ballpoint I have in there that I'm liking a lot is the, this is the Zebra Fidade, and it's from the Royal Silver collection. I feel confident we still have some of these left, but it's just a really nice heavyweight ballpoint. So that's the Zebra Fidade. And I've got Zebra Sarasa Vintage like always. And just in case there's someone out there who still isn't familiar with these, We'll swatch them here. So one of the fun things about these is three of these colors ended up being perfect matches for the handwoven pen case trio we recently launched. And I'll show you. So I'll definitely be explaining this product and showing this to you when I go through the other pen case. The, the one they call dark blue is really pretty much the same as blue black. And even Zebra admits this, so it's not a secret. has a cool barrel though. Okay, but so let me show you really quickly, just while I have these pens out, how this color matching ended up working because it's pretty wild. So like, here's your match for that one and that one and that one. Isn't that crazy? Anyway. Okay, I think it was only intentional on a very subtle level. Like, I love these colors, but it's not like I sent them the barrels and said, hey, match these exactly. Let me get the rest of what's out here. Okay, so this one is another zebra ballpoint. I guess I've just been really loving ballpoints in my, like, everyday sort of, like, work kit. So this is the Zebra Fortilla. And we sell the royal silver, so it's got that like silver body in this barrel. The silver one's really nice because it's a, it can be you know a little more masculine looking, but it has the twist to extract feature, and it's a um, nice heavy ball point. And I'll go back down here and swatch it. It's just going to end up like this one. So this one is the. Sorry, my. My arm hurts so bad that my swatching is an extra terrible mess right now. Okay, so this one is an Acroball 1000, which I really like, but I do have to tell, I do like to mention with this pen, the metal part is down in the bottom part, and the top part is plastic. So they do that on purpose, so the weight is in the bottom of the pen, but some people don't like that, so I like to call that out. So this one is, I think they call this the Navy Barrel, but it's the Acro 1000. It comes in a lot of different shades, and it's really just a, the higher end version of the Acro 300. And I have put, I took a, like a violet ink out of the Acro color and, and put it in there just because why not, I guess. So that's this, the acro color. And then I have just like one of the samples from the Sarasa marble. Just because sometimes, I don't know, random ones end up in my in my pen case. This one's really interesting because the, so this is the mint one which a lot of times lays down, you know, with not so much yellow, it's not as bright. It, it, a lot of times it lays down, like I would say, way more mint. 
So that's kind of a fun thing about these pens is there really is a variation to them. And I'm actually working on, I'm working in this one notebook with one of the Sarasa marble and when it basically to like, so I can flip through and show you the variation if you're basically filling a notebook up with one, but obviously it's going to take me like forever because I'm not just scribbly and I'm, I'm actually using the notebook and that pen like for real. Okay, so, and then I have other random things. So this, I love this. This is the Midori Brass, I don't know what they call it. Midori Brass Bookmark. It's branded by Traveler's Company now, I guess. So we have this with numbers and alphabet, but I don't, I, I, I use this one. I don't really have a preference, but I use this one because I'm more likely to want to lay down numbers, the stencil, but I use it as a straight edge and it also can make like a impromptu bookmark. I use it for that a lot. So that's that, which is in there. And then just some cutesy paper clips because I need them every once in a while. And I love squirrels, so that's why these. Yeah, so that is the Astia. And obviously it has a ton of stuff in it. I do not like to stuff them too full because I always feel very paranoid I'm gonna like basically like stretch out the leather or something and affect the shape. So I like to leave a little bit of room and let me zoom back out. Okay, so now we can get into the woven ones which is the one I use for studying. And I'm actually gonna leave this out because I might, I know I have like one or two highlighters in here which I can use for swatching. So, yeah. So this is very special. So this is hand woven. I'm really excited about the hand woven ones. Yeah, I think these are really special. I'm really excited about them. So, we did a trio of the Pine, Navy, and Bordeaux. This red color is very interesting because I think it photographs a little brighter red than it actually appears in person. So I think that's worth noting. I feel like when we photographed it, the red looks really bright. But it's not bright. Yeah, so... Okay, let me show you one thing I really like about this one, is this really, how beautiful the inside is, especially contrasted with the this color. I think it's gorgeous. I'll show you in the others as well. We decided to go with something more, like, sophisticated than the than the pretty floral interiors we do just because I felt like the outsides were looking so elegant. So I'm really pleased, really pleased with how these turned out. So yeah, I, I hope you like the inside we chose. Okay, so it's worth noting that Milu is not some kind of manufacturing plant. It's two actual people who are hand making these. So they're hand woven. I mean, these are handcrafted. They're designed by them. And actually, Fotini is doing all of the weaving so far. So yeah, we thank her and we love them. So let me talk about what is in my school one. This is like playing with fire a little bit because I'm always afraid it's going to leak. <laughs> but this is another Origins product that is worth noting. I have never really liked this brand, to be honest with you. I just happen to really be enjoying two of their products right now. Yeah, so this is like an aromatherapy stuff. You put it on your temples and I highly recommend it for when you're studying. 
I think it helps me like not panic when I am working on like programming assignments and stuff. So I have some friction products in here that I really like lately. So these are two of the new Friction Ball 3 Slim colors. So what they did is they just like, they're making another version of the Friction Ball 3 in a slimmer body for people who didn't like that thicker body. So I like these better. And the 0.38 comes in a lot of really pretty colors. I've really been liking the mint green a lot. And so have you guys, you've been buying it a lot. And this one they call orange or like pesto orange or something. I don't, I would call this just some sort of like really pretty pearly cream color. It's not really orange. I don't know, but it's really pretty. So I've been using these. And this is one of the new Friction Ball Slim Clear Barrel, which we sold out of, but we have been just recently restocked. So I'll just swatch it for you here so I can show you how it like erases and stuff too. Let me zoom since I'm doing the swatching. Okay, sorry. Okay, so this is the... Friction Ball Slim. And then... So I want to show you, in case you haven't seen it, how this just erases, erases with friction, or heat is basically what's making it go away. So those are awesome for studying, and you can refill these with any colors you want, but the color at the top stays the same. So I do stuff like I'll put like wine red in where the red is and violet where the blue is and keep the black there just so I don't get like confused about what colors wear. You can see once you put it out the bottom, but so I really just still love the Sarasa Select. Of course, this used to be the pre-fill and I've got some Looks like some super fine 0.3 in here. I don't know, do you guys want to see these too? Hold on, I can hear them talking out there. Okay, and then this one is pink. I think it's just regular pink. No, this one must be light pink. No, I don't know. Don't quote me, it's pink. Why don't I just figure it out so I'm telling you the right thing? It's pink. Okay. So then there's that. I think this is a really underrated custom multi pen. So this is the Meister 3 version of the Style Fit body. It has the like rotator feature. And I have in it 3.38 Unistyle Fit colors of my choice. Violet, brown, black, and blue black. And I'll show you. I think this is a really nice combo. I like to do a lot of color coding with my notes, so that's why I end up with the more like colorful gel pens in my study, my study one. Okay, I'm getting mega amounts of pens out here. Okay, so this is probably a forever favorite. This is the Uniball Signo DX.38 in Bordeaux Black. Pretty pretty. This is 
Disney princess. I usually don't care about Disney princesses, to be honest, but I liked that they did Snow White finally for a change. They can't even think of a time that they did her. I'll just kind of show you. So it looks like that. So that's the mild red mild liner. And then of course, in case you don't know, it has like a thinner end too. This is one of the Delgar Dream that we will be getting more of. I, of course, kept the mint barrel one. And here's a Delgard point three. I really like the Delgard for when I'm doing anything like related to math or logic. Basically, with school, I'm definitely a mechanical pencil person. This is one of the new mild liner colors in, what does this say, citrus green, which I, I don't think I ever would have chosen this color, but when I started swatching it over my inks, I liked it so much, especially with blues. Um, so I'm just kind of showing you. Why don't I just like lay it over the top of all these and you can kind of see what it looks like. Why not? I'm not going to do it over the marble. Of, like, that would be stupid. I'll just do it over like the top of some of these. Mm. Just some of them will do. Yeah, so I, I really ended up liking the citrus green one. It's part of the bright pack or you can also get it individually. This is the new Zebra Blend. I did a whole video about this that's already been released and I can definitely link it below if someone's interested. But this is just another Zebra Bulb Point except they added all kinds of features to make it a more comfortable pen. And like I said, if you're like interested in more about the pen, you can go look at that whole video. This, I should probably do a video on these. The Pilot Juice came out with new colors uh, several months ago that were fluorescent. And I haven't really, I don't know, I haven't really like talked much about them yet. But this is the fluorescent red and I like it. Oh god, I don't know how to spell fluorescent. Ooh, like this? We'll pretend that that is how you spell fluorescent red. I have no idea. Pretty sure it is 0.7, yeah. So someone wanted me to swatch these next to the pastels on black paper, which I will totally do. It's in my queue. And then just like, okay, other random things. Does anyone care about these things? No. So this is the Whippa. And it is a correction tape, and I really like it. What should I correct? Maybe I'll, let me move this thing. Correct that. But I really like the cap it has. It's really easy to use. You don't have to do that like really intense like wrist jerk up. Like you do have to do with some correction tape. So I really like it. Random gum. But this is the best kind of gum in case you were wondering. Do you know what these are? These Choi paper fasteners. I actually like these a lot. Let me show you how... I use this. I have to go get some stuff. Okay. So say this is your like school notebook that you're keeping your notes in. And then these are actual notes I made while I was studying. And because I didn't have my notebook nearby. True story. So you use the Troy paper fasteners to actually add the your extra pages. And these are kind of like big but it still works so you could use if it's a smaller page then I would tend to use like one Choi fastener if it's a, a larger page then then I might use like two or something but just for the purposes of showing you how I do it I added two my notes like this And then you have this like, it does not add almost any, it's so thin 
that's not really like bulk is being added, but then you have, you know, you're able to include your note inside your like school notebook or whatever. So, and see if you're using a large page like this, I would recommend more than just one, but usually it's like smaller notes. And so one is plenty. Anyway, so these come in like these cutesy animal ones, which of course I'm like a fan of. And you get a little trash pocket here, which is funny. It seems very Japanese. Yeah, and then there's like more like plain ones that aren't cutesy animal ones, but they're just like other little designs, like buttons or laces or something like that. Yeah, so this is just super easy to pop in there. Um, so you can easily fit two dozen pens in their like standard pen case size, which is awesome. As you can see, I do pens and then a combination of other things that I probably should not keep in there. Yeah, I and mean, then obviously with the Estia, I've probably talked about it before, you can fit tons of pens, but I end up doing that like toiletry kit combo a lot with it. Yeah, is there anything else I want to talk about? Well, if you have any questions about the hand weaving, let me know because I'm sure I could pass on your questions. I can tell you with 100% confidence that they're all super gorgeous and will continue trying other colors and designs with them. So you continue letting us know what you like. And since I did start back to school a couple weeks ago. If you want to update what's in my backpack video, <laughs> I can do that. I've now traveled pretty extensively with the bag, so I can talk a lot about that. I use it every day, no matter if I'm here or off traveling. So let me know if you want that video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.